Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be playing through Mega Man 1 for the NES. And the reason that I'm doing this today is because I wanted to check out some new settings for my microphone. And I'm stood on the controller cable. That is not a good start. But hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I haven't actually done a stream on a weekend before, so this is this is a first. Let me just make sure the mic's in a good place. And that I can actually hear the game. Yep, sounds good. Alright, so this is Mega Man 1. Weirdly, the first Mega Man game here, this one doesn't have any introduction at all. It doesn't give you any sort of idea as to what's going on in the game. You're just basically thrown into this menu screen here with all of the different Robot Masters. And I always begin with Cutman. There's basically three, I guess, different starting points that you could choose. You could choose Cutman, you could choose Bomb Man, or you could choose Guts Man. They're basically the easiest ones to defeat, just with the Metal Buster, Mega Buster. But um, in terms of the actual robots to fight, I think Cutman's the uh, the best level to begin with. Just because it's a really fun level. So let's get started with Cutman. And uh, interestingly, this is also the first level um, which doesn't really have a theme like the rest of the levels in the game kind of match what the robots are supposed to be doing, but this one just seems to be random blocks. So there is a theory online that perhaps this was the first one invented, created, and they basically just designed this as an introduction stage to get you uh, used to how the game plays and controls. So a few things about this game as we're just starting here. There is a score system and uh, if that doesn't look familiar to you, if you've played any of the other Mega Man games, that is because no other Mega Man game actually features a score outside of this one. And um, if you saw that, let's get this one, that dot there, that increases the score a bit, I think. Um, or one of them does and the other one refills the um, energy for the weapons, which we'll get to in a little bit. Here's a random box that does literally nothing. And apparently those enemies there are fleas, or like something to protect crops, I believe. And these ones are weird blockade robots called Susie? Something like that. Unmovable Susie or something. I've actually got it written down here, they're called Adhering Susies. There we go. So if you're wondering why I'm playing Mega Man 1, it's because I'm actually planning to do a big video about the game and the series. And I want to try and get into the lore of the series as well because there's not that many people out there that have spoken about the meaning behind these levels and enemies and things. So I think it would be cool to sort of cover that in detail. It's not really something that people have shared. Like, you can find the information out there, obviously. And when we finish this stage, I'll show you one of the... Uh, one of the ways that I've found this information, I've actually picked up a few cool things over the years in terms of Mega Man lore. There's another one of those random boxes that you can just walk straight past. I actually wonder whether you can kill them. Okay, they do take damage, but I guess they move too fast for you to actually destroy them, so it's a bit weird. These annoying robots are apparently... Um, like drones, observation drones, sentry drones, and they're called Bun... Bunnelbly... Bunbly Hilly, whatever the hell that means. And this one's another one of those uh, sentry robot things. And that one is called Manbu, of course. Ah! I almost got through it, okay. <clears throat> you can kill them. This one's really annoying to kill. You've got two options, really. You can either hope that he do does a big jump like that and just run past it, or you can just mash attack as fast as possible to get through. And there we are, that is the end of the first level. But it's not over just yet, because this is also the first Mega Man game where you actually have extended sections before the boss. So let's take these out. Apparently, these, although they're called screwdrivers, I thought... You know, maybe they were created to, I don't know, help people screw things in, because most of the robots in this game are 
game seems a little too loud. Okay. Thank you. How's my voice? Let's try that. Does my voice sound good? Uh, what was I saying about the screwdriver things? Yeah. I thought they were invented to help people build stuff, like you would expect. But no, apparently they're actually um, shooting water out of their heads, and they're like sprinkler systems, according to the law. Here's the first robot, a very easy one. You can, uh, I say very easy, I'm not doing very well. Go up here. If you, um, oh my god, I'm doing awfully. I was trying to say, if you hit him, he gets pushed backwards. So it should be a straightforward fight. That was the worst I've ever done. There we go. That was terrible. Pretend you didn't see that. Hey, Gion! How's it going? Am I going to play through all the Mega Man NES games? I... Uh, maybe? I haven't decided just yet. I want to do a retrospective on the Mega Man series at some point. But when that happens, who knows. Right, that is uh, Cut Man Down. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Next up is... Mm, let's go with Bomb Man. Another very easy one to beat. You can beat him just with the Mega Buster as well. And again, he has a pretty fun stage to go along with him. I love the background on this level. Look how cool they look! It reminds me of um, Tokyo TV's headquarters in Odaiba. Although I think this game came out before they were built. And there's more of these annoying flea robots here. Apparently, those flea robots originally were invented to um, get rid of pests in fields. And the idea behind this level is that Dr. Wily has reprogrammed all of the different um, construction and demolition robots. And he's now destroying the city. And the city has some stupid name, I can't remember what it is, in the American instruction book. Something like Megalopolis or something like that. Oh. Uh, let's go and get it anyway, just to fill our health back up. And yeah, Bomb Man himself was originally designed as a demolition robot. And this really annoying enemy here is called Sniper Joe. And uh, he's so annoying. Apparently the law behind Sniper Joe is that he's actually a reprogrammed Proto-Man. Who is um, a Mega Man character that we will see in Mega Man 3? I think that's his first appearance. So I do have written down what the rest of these are called as well. And actually I can show you this. If you use Cutman's weapon, you can actually take those floor things out. And they are not called floor things, I've got it written down here. They are called gabules, and they are security robots. And those big bomb ones, they are called killer bombs. So original. And uh, they were designed for um, demolishing things at a long distance, apparently. I think they were just designed because the developers liked the bombs. Don't eat the squid. Good evening, and I'm not planning to. I do have a croissant in front of me, though, which I will be eating soon. How are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm trying to read the chat and getting attacked by these things. And if you want to know what these things are called, I have that written down as well. These are called Manvas, and these are security robots. Kind of like drones, I guess. Now, there's an interesting glitch up here if I can get up there without getting hit. So, this Sniper Joe here, um, if we come across here, I'll ignore that one up, I don't need it. If you stand about here, he'll get stuck in the wall, and then he'll just fly off in a second. Oh, usually he flies off. There we go. Whee! So, that's always a little fun thing to do in this stage. I hate these Sniper Joes so much. I wonder whether you can use... Cut man. Mm, kind of. Okay, well that is it for Bomb Man's stage. Another really, really fun stage. <clears throat> and you can actually skip the first bit out by standing right here, and you can drop down. And then, if you grab onto the ladder at the right time, there we go, you can save yourself. 
So Bomb Man's another really easy one that you can defeat just with the Mega Buster. So let's see whether we can do this on my uh, first attempt. He's kind of like Toad Man, but a little bit harder. There is one thing different about this um, that makes the entire game a bit harder compared to the other Mega Man games. There we go, did that first try. And that is the fact that there's no energy tanks in this one, which makes the entire game a bit more difficult. But it's still fairly easy once you've uh, got the hang of how to play. So that's the first two down. Now let's go to Gutsman. And this is the, the other demolition robot to go alongside Bomb Man. Another one of the construction robots. And this time it's set in and around the mines. And here's our first look at the Metal, which is a very long running character in the Mega Man series. Don't eat the squid, you're enjoying my YouTube videos. Thank you. I've. If I'm honest, I've been struggling with YouTube videos recently. Um, I don't know, I'm just not feeling as excited about making them recently, so um, I've decided to stop taking sponsors, sponsorship videos for a while at least. Just because I felt like I wasn't having time to do anything for myself. So now we get to one of the really, really annoying enemies, they're called Pickle Man. And uh, I don't think I've ever been able to... Oh, there we go. I don't think I've ever been able to... Oh my god! I did it! I was about to say, I've never been able to get past them without getting hit. But... Ah, uh, damn it. He showed me up. Did pretty well there. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to show you. I'll show you after this one. If we go to the left here, there's some health. Ah, uh, oh no! Yeah, there's no invincibility on those spikes. Um, I picked up something really cool recently. Let's go on the right instead, just to be safe. Mega Man related. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know how to get over there. That bit on the left. No idea, unless you use Elect Man's magnet beam thing. Now, I always used to think this blue one was stronger than the red one, but as far as I can tell, it's actually exactly the same enemy. So, Gutsman's another really easy one. And this bit before him is really easy too. You can just mash the attack button. Go straight past all of them just like that. And let's equip the bombs because that is his weakness, although you don't really need to use it. But if you can stand about here and throw them at the back, you can at least get. Ugh. That's the problem with using the bombs, it's hard to line them up. So the idea is, if you jump at the right time... Oh no, he's coming up. Okay. I'll just attack him the normal way. Ah, I really hate this fight, it's so annoying. There we go. Another really easy boss. We did a little bit of his damage, his weakness. Um, so that is three down. Now I said I've got a few things to show you, so... Let's start with this, actually. This is really cool. Yeah, weird. They use points, but they don't mean anything at all. Let's pop on camera for a second. So, first of all, this wasn't actually what I was planning to show, but look at this cool t-shirt I got. From Uniqlo. I picked it up in uh, in London when I went to the shop. But this is something that I got recently. This was written by Nadia Oxford, who is uh, famous for her podcasts. Uh, something RPG, Blood God. And um, Retronauts, I don't know why that was slipping my mind. This is the Robot Master's Field Guide. And this is information about every single Robot Master from every single one of the classic Mega Man games. So I'm using this uh, while I'm writing my video. So uh, next one up is Electman. So let's go and see what this actually says about Electman before we go and fight him. Uh, there he is. And I only just noticed recently that all of the different Robot Masters have their own personal, like, assigned numbers next to them. And the letters actually denote who made them. So whether it was Dr. Light or Dr. Wily. So 
For Electman here, it says, Feel the power of my Thunderbeam. Said to be among the greatest industrial robots built by Dr. Light, Electman was created to manage the electrical output of nuclear power plants. His high movement speed and sharp judgment serve him well to that end. So, Electman is definitely the hardest one to fight. So I have that. I also have these Robot Master cards from the Wily Wars Collector's Edition. And these actually have different information written about them, which is really cool, in a kind of Top Trumps style, so you also get different stats. So there's Electman's one there. His power is a 9 out of 10. I would have loved seeing these as a kid, because I loved just the idea of the Robot Masters back then was so cool. So I'm really happy to have all these. And they go all the way up to Mega Man 3. But there was something else I wanted to show you related to the soundtrack. Something that I got through the post the other day. So bear with me one second, I'll go and get it off the shelf. And hopefully I can pronounce her name right, but the um, composer for the first Mega Man game, uh, Minami Matsume, Minami Matsume, released this a few years back and I just found out about it. This is her first solo album, basically, and it's called Three Movements because it actually goes through the entire, like, career of her musical, like, career in the games industry. There's a look at the disc on the inside. It's really good. But basically the the way it's structured is really interesting. So it starts off with chiptune music and it's going through like the NES and kind of simple 8-bit style music. And then it moves into PlayStation 1 and SNES with like sampled sounds and things. And then by the end of the CD, you've got actual full orchestral scores. And it's just really, really cool. And yeah, some of it sounds kind of Mega Man-y. And there's also a little bit of UN Squadron which is another another game that she worked on back then. So, yeah, just thought I would show them off because I was so happy to get them. And uh, where are we going now? Like man, this is possibly the first stage where I'll end up dying. So, uh, yeah, I need to find a way of adjusting the microphone without it being really, really noisy. Right, first things first in a like man stage, take out these with Cutman's weapon because they are very annoying, and these jumps are annoying as well. And they're even more annoying with those robots that move across the floor in the way. Now, we are coming up to a very annoying robot called Watcher. Uh, let's use it to take these ones out too. And literally, if you don't time your shots perfectly on this ladder here, you'll just get shot right off and, and sent back to the start. There is one other thing really annoying about Mega Man 1. See, when you stop, he takes, like, an extra step. They got rid of that in Mega Man 2 and the rest of the series, but for whatever reason, they decided it would be cool if he had a little bit of momentum when he stops, which makes some of the platforming quite difficult. But yeah, as you can see here, these enemies that come off the side, I'm not giving them a chance. Ooh. Oh, where's it gone? I can't believe it. It showed me a one-up. And it didn't go. It didn't appear, shall I say. Right, here's some annoying blocks. You just have to memorise where they come from. Ice floors. Comes next. There's no point going on the other side. You just get a few little weapon energy upgrades. But if we swap to Gutsman, there is something cool coming up in this stage. Or not yet, I guess, but... We'll play as him for a minute anyway. This little bit here reminds me of Mega Man 2 when you're about to fight the uh, the dragon. Uh, am I too soon? I think I was getting ahead of myself there. No more one-ups for me? That's something else that was fixed in later Mega Man games. If items fall off the top of the screen, they actually come back onto the screen. Right, I know there's some more here on the left. They're a bit further away as well. Oh my god, that was close. Right, here's where we need to use Gutsman. So if you see those blocks there, you can actually pick those up and throw them like that. Once they start flashing, anyway. And now we have the Magnet Beam, which allows you to make platforms in the air, which is really useful. Sometimes you can get good items from these. But you actually want to save some Cutman 
power, because that is Electman's weakness. So you don't want to use it all up. I was watching some speedruns, and you can actually use the uh, magnet beam here to basically skip out the ladders entirely. And then stand here and wait for that flea to jump off the stage before you carry on up there. There we go. You can also take the path on the right, but I always go up the ladder. And now we repeat the same bit from earlier. And in terms of the theming for this stage, I think this is supposed to be like an electric pylon or maybe some sort of power plant that you're scaling to get to the top. And we have arrived. And yeah, you managed to get past him without getting hurt. Whether he does tall or short jumps is just completely random, so you never know. Now, this is a really annoying section. You just have to very, very slowly climb up this ladder for two screens and keep stopping here while the electric goes off. And you barely get enough time. Ugh, God damn it, I hate this bit so much. Just because I'm impatient, you can see how close I was getting to it. Oh yeah, I haven't given you a chance to enjoy the music. This is one of Manami's best songs. Probably a uh, most well-known. And here we are, Electman. Usually it's an incredibly difficult fight. He's super powerful, as that top trump card suggested, but if you get in Cutman's shots really, really fast, you can take him out before anything happens, just like that. And now we only have two left. Mega Man 1 is a very short game. How's everyone doing tonight, by the way? Has anyone played Mega Man 1 before? No, it really doesn't matter which order we tackle these in. I mean, Fireman I actually find easier to take out with the Mega Buster as well, because there's a sort of technique you can do where you, if you stand in just the right place and jump and shoot at exactly the right time, you can take them both out together. Um, right, so, I shouldn't have killed this enemy straight away because I wanted to tell you about him. He's called a Crazy Razy, and if you shoot his body off, then, as you can see, his head detaches and decides to fly all over the place. And this is also the first Mega Man game where your jump isn't affected in the water. From Mega Man 2 onwards, if you jump in the water, you actually end up jumping higher. You played it a lot 25 to 30 years ago. It's one of those games that never ages. I played it a lot back then as well. Actually, Mega Man 4 was my first ever Mega Man game. Weirdly. That's the one I had as a kid. But I loved it so much, obviously, I went and played all the other ones. But I still feel like Mega Man 4 is the best one. Let me know in the uh, in the chat which ones you think are the best. Um, you discovered it and used to play the NES Mega Man games on the 3DS Virtual Console. Nice. They're really good versions on the 3DS. You can uh, take that one out straight away. Right, let's see if I can remember. Ah, oh, I messed up. Oh no, I'm okay. Yeah, all right. Remembered that one. Nice, Rockman 4 is the best. Two and three are great too. Um, and in fact, I love all of them. Honestly, I can't pick a favorite. Let's see whether we can do this one in one go as well. I can remember it. So, this is the awkward bit. And then jump again! Yay! Now, this bit is usually really annoying, but you can actually use this new magnet beam to skip these really annoying platforms out completely. You can just go across. Like that! Ah! ah. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! So close. Should try 9 and 11. Nine's really good. Maybe my second favourite. So, you'll see why everyone hates this stage. It's those stupid floating platforms. They don't have any sort of pattern to them at all. This is usually where a lot of people give up on Mega Man 1, just because these sections are so annoying. 
I wish there was a way of hitting that easier. Uh, damn. Just missed it. I think I've got enough to give it one more try. I know what I did wrong. That took me ages to figure out originally. Alright, let's try again. Just need to wait a bit longer. Okay, there we go, we're safe. I always hate that so much. Can we get the one up? No. Never get the one up. Can get these though. Just in case. I'll refill it. I don't think we'll need to though. Uh, I don't remember what Iceman's weakness is. Is it a Lackman? I remember thinking it's one of those ones that doesn't really make any sense. Oh, come on. Let's see if he's got anything good. Oh my god, the amount of hits he takes! Jeez. Would have been better off not even trying to fight him. Good. There's a bit later on where you fight these annoying flying penguins. Um, I think it's the Man. It's the Man on the Game Boy one. I presume it's the same here. Alright, let's try. Iceman's really, really annoying if you don't use his weakness. Yeah, that's it. So the... Um, you can still get hit there, by the way. I was going to say the distance between his attacks that he shoots out is so small if you only, like, even slightly me miss, then it takes off, like, a quarter of your health in one go. Iceman down! We got one left. Fireman. And if you want some trivia for Fireman, he was designed to uh, work in incinerators or work at waste management disposal plants, where he can withstand temperatures up to so many thousand degrees. And actually, these screw enemies make a lot more sense here because if you missed it earlier, I actually found out that they're not screws, even though they're called screwdrivers. They're actually sprinkler systems. And again, I know I haven't really given you a chance to listen to the soundtrack, but this song's awesome too. There you go, you can have a bit of a listen. This is your favourite tune? Yeah, this one's awesome. The Dr. Wily thing's really good too. Ow. Hey, we got Marco over on the YouTube side. What game is this? This is the original Mega Man, the very first one from 1987. I think it's held up incredibly well for the age. There's not that many games from the mid 80s that feel this polished. Considering this game was actually a lot of people's first experience programming games, like before, uh, before joining Capcom, the programmer had actually only worked in, um, like, engineering before. So they'd programmed engineering systems. And apparently they were so good at programming and so good at not having any bugs in the code that um, they had to scale back their original plans for the game because the code actually slowed it down because it was so precise. And that's why you can only fire three bullets. So there's another bit, bit of trivia for you. And yeah, if you... Um, if you want to skip that section out, just do what I did there and um, use the magnet beam to just skip straight past it. Oh, where'd it go? Alright, let's see whether we can take this one out. Yes. If you do that before you touch the floor, you don't have to worry about it so much anyway. And um, let's refill that. Oh, I've only got one life left. Will I be able to get to the end of the game in one life. Maybe. You can farm here, actually. Maybe they'll drop an extra life? Let's give it one more go. This game's quite stingy on lives, actually. Oh well, let's carry on. Man, I'm not looking forward to the bit in Wily's Castle 1, where you have to freeze the, uh, the fire. It's really, really frustrating. 
This music kind of reminds me of Flashman in Mega Man 2. It has that same kind of upbeat tempo to it. Alright, so Ice takes out Fire. Let's go. I hate Fireman. He's probably my least favourite. But if you time it right, you can do something not like that. <laughs> not that it matters anyway. But yeah, you can press both attack and jump at the same time. And if you time it right, uh, you can actually get it. So you constantly jump over that flame that he puts on the floor. So that's all the Robot Masters taken care of. Now look, a new stage has opened up. Oh my god, it's Dr. Wily! No, for his eyebrows. <laughs> there we go. Gonna wiggle those eyebrows, Dr. Wily. Here we go. Enjoy this music too. This song's awesome. I'll be quiet for a minute. Ah, uh, stupid enemies. Hate them. Ones. You can never tell. I didn't even get anything for it. Sometimes it's better just to run straight past them. Ah! Hopefully with that one he does a big jump and you can just go straight under. Right, now this is the really annoying bit. So obviously you've got to get rid of these first. And then you need to switch to the ice beam and try and freeze these. Ah, that's actually really good. Yes, first time. You have to freeze them to build platforms. Sometimes I get really stuck there. Dun, 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 dun. Let's use the magnet beam. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, it won't let me. Okay, that is not how you get up there. Ah, I'm always scared there. Ah, maybe you can use cut to uh, to bring it back over. I always use cut here <coughs> to take these annoying fleas out. Well, if it lets me. I could go up there, but let's just carry on. I'm probably gonna... Oh no! Still no health, really? You're gonna drop health? Oh my god. See, this is where E-Tanks would come in handy. I can't believe how stingy it's been. Seriously? No go before the next one comes. I've only got four bits of health left. This isn't going to end well. I hate these as well. Look at their stupid random patterns. Oh my god, that was close. That was some good reflexes! Uh, yes, I made it. Right. Oh no. Hopefully they respawn. So to get through this bit, you need to use a lot of magnet power. Okay, good. Let's do that a few times. Just to be on the safe side. Maybe it's safer if I come back down the ladder rather than jumping straight down. <clears throat> I think we've got enough. Let's give it a try. So you have to be really, really precise here. Like that. Ah. I might have to come back down. Yep. I'm not going to have enough. You can see what you have to do there anyway. And it's so annoying. Ah, that was close. I think I'm going to die anyway. Why did Dr. Light not invent E-Tanks yet? I presume he invented them anyway. I don't know where they came from. I haven't looked up the lore for Mega Man 2 yet. Alright, let's give it another go. Let's try. Yay, that's better. You can see why that can be kind of difficult. Oh my god, I hate using that. There we go. We're through. 
And then here's the same room again where those annoying fleas were. Except now, it's time! Are you ready for this? You know who's coming up? If you're a Mega Man fan anyway, you know what's coming now. Here it is. The famous Yellow Devil. And I've only got two. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no chance. This is where the run goes to die. There is a cheat. You can um, do the pause hack thing. But let's see whether we can do it properly first. So still equip a like man because it is the... Um, it is the best weapon. Ah, uh, messed up. Again. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Remember not to get too close to him. Oh man. Okay, gotta do two more, maybe. Oh my god, it's neck and neck. I'm actually getting scared now. Yes, I did it. Officially! Without using the cheat. Yay! Everyone hates that boss. Whoa! Mega Man's mouth just disappeared. We did it! Now enjoy the music again. And I hate these robots so much. Look at that. I knew that was going to happen. Every single time on this stage. Oh, we didn't get all the way through on one. Gonna be a bit more cautious this time. There is another one. There he is. Oh my god! That's too many. Anyone else hate these enemies? A lot. Uh, okay, let's do that. There is a uh, a floor there that you can fall down. So, um, I think this is a luck man again for the. Oh, I guess I could just use the Mega Buster. Actually, I was a bit ahead of myself there. I thought it was the. Um, Oh my god, that was close. I thought it was the fight against the clone of Mega Man. Oh my god, I hate that about Mega Man 1. I'm not even going to attempt to get that. At least they're easy to dodge, I say. Right, I'm just going to jump down. I can't even remember what comes here. Is it Bomb Man? Oh no, this is Elect Man. We need Cut Man, quick! Electman does a lot of damage. Oh my god. So much damage. God damn. Okay, we're back here again. Hey, that actually worked out a lot better. Maybe I should just run across this bit the whole time. Right, so come on. Just use the Mega Buster. But I don't actually know what his weakness is because I always fight him first. Can we do it without taking damage? If he jumps again? Yes. We got his pattern locked in. We are locked in, gamers. There we go. Now we're going to do this again. I don't even know um, what you would have to do to take that out. Throw a bomb at it, maybe? Alright. Let's get ready. Oh my god. 
Hey, oh no, it's over there. All right, let's just mash. Go away, go away, go away. One more. All right, yes, he's gone. Now we have the bombs. Right. Oh well, they don't actually take off that much damage. Let's just brute force our way through. It's only a short section. There's a way of skipping this bit as well, but I don't know how to do it. Oh my god, finally, a life! They're so stingy with extra lives in this one. And a reason to use the magnet thing again. I'll just... Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Uh, can I drop a bomb down? Oh, actually, that might work. Yeah, that works. There we go. Should have just done that to begin with. And again. Whoa! Alright, instant kill. Use it to take all them out as well. And we get to refill it. Nice, I'll do that from now on. There we go, and now we've got another full electricity meter. That's made this section so trivial now. I used to really struggle here, but yeah, <laughs> now I know you can just do that. I'll do that every time. Now it's the clone Mega Man. I don't know why you always slide over like that. Now we get ready to be cloned. I think electric's good. I don't know. I don't think I've got enough health, really. Okay, if you make him... Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah! Uh, I don't know how to... I don't know a good way of killing this Mega Man clone. Anyone in chat? Any, uh, any tips? Let's try fire, we haven't used that yet. Any tips on killing clone Mega Man? Let's try fire. I think he just mimics everything you do. Like, when he shoots, when you shoot, he, he shoots. Oh my god. That seems to be working, maybe. I'm just getting lucky, really. Yeah, that worked. JC, sorry, never played Mega Man ever. No, you need to change that. Get Mega Man Legacy Collection on whatever platform. It's on everything. You can enjoy basically every good Mega Man game in one go. Right, we made it to the uh, final stage. Let's try using electric to get rid of these again. I think I need electric a bit later on though. Giving me junk. Give me something good. Electric's so overpowered, wow. I don't even know if I picked anything up then. Right, now switch to the Mega Buster. And this is gonna fill with water for some reason. Whee! I don't really understand where I am at this point in the game or what's going on. I just know that penguins come down the side of the screen and you can just do that. A lot. And eventually you'll just reach the end. And there's an annoying fight next against um, what I discovered is actually a water purifying system. You'll see why that's not apparent as we get into the room now. <clears throat> so it's just a circuit board inside a bubble. There it is. So the best thing to do is not what I'm doing now. 
to just attack the first few times with the Mega Buster and then switch to Gutsman and throw these rocks to uh, take out the final attacks. Yay, there we go. First time. Oh, is my camera broken? Oh, the camera's disconnected. Hello, hello. Well, it's still there. happened. The camera's still on on the preview. Come back. I don't know what's happened there. I'll try unplugging it from the USB port. You can still hear me, the microphone's plugged into the same port. Hey, there we go, we're back. No idea what happened then. Just did not like the camera for a second. Oh my god. Go away! Sorry about that, everyone. Don't know why that happened. At least I didn't need to close OBS, I thought I might have to restart the whole stream for a second. I never bother getting that. Um, again, the best thing to use here, i oh, barely got any, is electric. I was using too much electric last time. Oh my god, it's all gone. I've never completely run out before. Ow, I thought I was safe then. How did one hit me and the other one didn't? Right, there's two things that you can pick up here. Let's wait for the platform to come back. Just check in, the camera's still moving. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Good, good, good. There is a platform here. There it is. Oh my god, you have to be so precise there. You get like one second to do that jump. Luckily, this is a checkpoint, so you can actually try this as many times as you want. Hopefully that will just be once. Um, unless you completely run out of item power here. I don't know what you'd do. Got to get through this without electric, man. 
It's still pretty easy, it's just annoying. Or I'll just give up and just run through like that. I don't care! So there is an extra life here, but I don't even really know if it's... Oh, too soon again! Oh my god! I hate that jump so much! Why did they make that gap so long? You can skip it with a magnet, I might just end up doing that, but I wanted to try and do it properly first. Uh, do we use our electric? I don't think we... Actually, we do need electric. Let's try... That works too. That works better actually. And we can refill it. Should we try that jump one more time just to prove that I can actually do it? Come on, come on. Is it loaded? Yeah, there it is. There you go! Oh, shh! God damn it! Ah, why am I not playing on this with something with a rewind button? Okay. Let's just use the magnet. I'm pretty sure they intended you to use the magnet as well, to be honest. Like, that is what it's for. I need to open a window, it's getting hot. Oh, it is open already. Oh my god, the computer's heating this room up so much. I'm used to only having my MacBook on, which doesn't produce any heat. So, to be having this on in the summer is just a deadly combination. Alright, I give up. Stupid platform. I can do them fine in Gutsman stage. can wait for it here at least. There we go. <clears throat> right, now we are going to fight all the Robot Masters in true Mega Man fashion. I don't remember. I actually don't know. Fire, maybe? Yeah. Actually, you need fire later, so... Let's just take him out with the Mega Buster. Oh, no! I hate the fact that when they die, they can still hurt you. Next is... Fireman! You know what a fireman needs. Oh my god. I can never time this one properly. It's just insane. Uh, electric. Oh my god, yes! That's what I always hate about this one. Alright, who's next? Guts man, like bombs. Ah, oh. damn it! At least Bomb Man's a nice easy one to start with. So we can probably get through Bomb Man without using any health. Um, Fireman. Oh, almost. That's it! That's what I was trying to tell you earlier! Yes! Fireman, if you time it properly with the Mega Buster, you can do that. 
Okay, no Alakman. Oh, no. Okay, can we get out? <sighs> that was close. Thanks, man. We need bombs. man so much. Let me out of there. No, I only have a vague memory of what's next. I think we need electric. This is it. It was either electric or fire, something like that. It was one... It might have been fire, actually. I know it's one... Maybe cut. Oh man, I didn't realise how little health I had. Or maybe just the Mega Bust will do. Let's try fire. Anyway, this is it, guys. The final showdown. And it only took us, what, an hour to get through? Okay, yeah, that's doing a lot more damage. The second phase of this is really annoying. It's got a really stupid... Uh, that! You can barely see... ...where it's coming from. I'm pretty sure electric is better. Yeah, I guess you can get two hits in. I'm actually getting really lucky with these patterns. If you stand there, I think you're safe, but you do have to be really careful. Ah! Oh, it's fine. I've got loads of health. There we go. Dr. Wily is dead. Mega Man 1 complete. So we move on to Mega Man 2. There we go. That is it. The entire of Mega Man 1. Completed in just under an hour. You get a little nice ending credits theme. And there's something cool at the end of this. See if you can pick up on the music. Well, from here. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. There we go. There's the line. It says it in here as well. There we go on the intro. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. And contrary to popular belief, as you might have noticed in these credits, Keiji Inafune is not the director of Mega Man 1. He was only one of the character designers. You'll see him in a second. Inaf King. There he is. There's something else cool Mega Man related that I wanted to go and get, so enjoy this music and these credits while I go and get it. There was two things, but I couldn't find one of them, but this is one of the art books that I've got. Kind of difficult to see. Mega Man Tribute, and it's full of really, really nice fan art across all of the original games in the series. Let's see if there's any from Mega Man 1. Really unique styles as well. There's, like, every sort of genre. There you go, there's Cutman. My favourite stage. Um, yeah, there's loads of really cool artwork. It's kind of difficult to show. I haven't got my top-down camera set up, but... Yeah, so many really, really cool, really, really detailed pictures from basically every Mega Man game in the entire series. 
and the other book is actually right here. I thought I didn't have it out. This is very much sought after by Mega Man collectors. This is the complete works. So this is everything Mega Man 1 through to Mega Man 6, including original design sketches and stuff, and um, annotations by the staff about why they designed things the way they did. And it's just so cool to see. And like comic panels and there you go, original design sketches and stuff. And all the official colour palettes for all the characters as well. So just thought they would be some fun things to show you. 